How was that? That was a lot. <laughs> so I started coming to Advanced Family Chiropractic with my family, just looking for a new chiropractor. We had seen one previously, um, but I was mostly looking for someone that was going to help me with neck pain, postpartum, uh, after having my son, um, and just dealing with the daily aches and pains of just adjusting uh, to new life, <laughs> now having two kids, uh, and Dr. John was able to help me a lot. I was really impressed with just, or I am really impressed with just his different techniques. Um, I really appreciate his massage therapy and just how it helps get even the tiniest little misalignments out, um, any of those aches and pains. Dr. So. John here with Kilted Chiropractor. Today I've got Olivia. We've got a lot of stuff to work on with her. She's been under chiropractic care for a long time. But before we get started, make sure you hit that red button and subscribe to my channel. We're trying to get to 2,000 plus subscribers by December. So help us get there and let's start talking to Olivia. And I know you have a long history in chiropractic. I do. Olivia. A couple of years, actually. Couple of years. Yeah? Mm -hmm. What did you do before? I mean, you, I know you've been in the clinic for a few months because you mm -hmm. moved to this area. So I had started going to chiro a wellness chiropractor uh, back in our previous state with my daughter and then just got started going myself. Mm -hmm. um, and it really helped me postpartum and then just became a lifestyle thing for myself and my family that we just made a habit out of for boosting our immune system and our general wellness. Great. And then you also spent a couple of years working in I did. I worked as a chiropractic assistant. I took on new patients. Uh, I got to talk to any patients that came into our office that were looking for care while their wellness or dealing with a specific issue. Nice. And a good chiropractic assistant is hard to find. <laughs> so we get somebody like you who knows what's going on, we're like, yes. So, and you're right, you know, chiropractic care is all about uh, wellness, healthcare. But it's also not always about just an adjustment either. Wellness care far exceeds just lay down and get an adjustment. Come on. It's how we eat, what we drink, how we exercise, how we are we mm -hmm. sleeping well, are we, are we you know, playing well. I mean, you have to really take care of a body. If you're going to be pain-free, drug-free, disability-free, and can we go to 100, which is what I'm always, let's get to 100 and have fun, you really have to take, you have to look at your body differently. Mm -hmm. Not just, oh, I have an ache, I'm going to go to a medical doctor and get a pill. I mean, that's, that's obnoxious. You know, you should be out playing and exercising and getting rest and healing the mind and the body and good nutrition, good food, and you see the results. Mm -hmm. It's you know, all connected. Everything is interconnected. <laughs> Um, that's the philosophy that we're talking here. How do we connect the dots to have a body that plays hard? Now I know that you have, I know we've talked about knee problems and middle back and neck and shoulder. What's going on? And you're, you're pretty much at a wellness level of care. Mm -hmm. So you're proactive. So what's going on today that we're fine tuning on you? Mostly just neck problems into my shoulder. Um, I spend, I uh, breastfeed my son and so I spend a lot of time in this position looking down or even just okay. having, he's six months old so he's constantly right. on my hips. So um, just that poor posture from, from carrying with him, carrying stuff. babies, yeah. carrying the carrier, carrying the diaper bag. Um, so just mostly work. like, yeah, mostly okay. like strains on my neck and shoulders. Um, How's the mid back feel after nursing for a while? Though? It feels like, a little like so crunch, like hunched, hunched over, like I need to. Okay. It definitely. Is we'll clear all that out too. Then we'll do some muscle work there. Okay. Um, you went hiking. We're talking casually. You went hiking yes. a few days back or whatever. Mm -hmm. Uh, how your feet feel? Anything there going My on? My feet feel okay. It was more just this knee that I've had ongoing pain uh, with. It just felt tight last night specifically. Um, it just felt like. Okay. This whole side, maybe even my hip, was kind of misaligned. Okay. Um, but you had a tear in that meniscus, right? I did. I tore my ACL, ACL. Uh, when I played soccer in college. So I've okay. torn it. It's probably eight years ago. All right. Well, I'm like mindful of that. Then I know we've talked about it. But when you see a couple hundred patients a week, I've got to all the What are we talking about? <laughs> Can only keep so much straight and everything, exactly. but we do. Um, all right, so we'll just do a full assessment here. And I'm just going to find and fix and do what has to be done. Sounds good. All right. So now you said, I know last week we did some scraping, or a couple mm -hmm. weeks ago we did some scraping on the shoulders. Yeah. And you said it helped? It helped a lot. I was a little sore afterwards, but I could I walked out of here being able to move my neck, actually. Yeah, you were, oh, I can't remember now. A couple weeks ago, you were really sore. Yeah, I think it was like two weeks ago. And it feels a lot better, but still ongoing neck. Well, when you're taking care of babies and... <laughs> 
Does your, does your son sleep all through the night, or does he keep you um, up? He gets up so about once, but he's once. giving us longer stretches. But. Okay, how does that feel right there? It's definitely sore. Okay, I can feel some rotation in that joint there. We'll work on that. Let's go to the other side. Just Now this one's got a good range of motion on it. But this one definitely feels restricted right about in there. I feel it rotating mm -hmm. right there. All right. Let's see how the nerves are affected here. So let's bring the arm up. You know this drill, hold tight for me. I'm gonna push down and it's got nothing there. <laughs> nothing. Let's check this one, hold tight for me. Now it's got a little more strength, but it still fatigues out. Let's do the bicep, I'm gonna push straight down, hold tight. Now that's firing. Hold tight. And bicep, so C6 is pretty good, but C5 has got some stress points. Let's go to C7, triceps. Do tricep extension, push up as hard as you can, and then get that one down a little bit. Push as hard as you can. Well, that one's holding. Let's go back and reassess this one. Push as hard as you can. See the difference in that mm -hmm. one? This one is actually weaker for yes. sure. Let's check some of your grip strength. So we're going to do the hands all the way out here. Curl the fingers in. Grip as tight as you can. Not bad. Tight as you can here. See that one? Mm -hmm. They open right up. That's interesting. So I gotta fix the, like, that. One. Weakness on the side. Yeah. All right. That's okay. We're gonna get in there and get all that balanced out. Do some. I'm gonna just check here and look down this way. Just looking. For... There it is, right there. I was gonna say that's pretty tender. Yeah. That was your upper up and elevator. And look down. How does this one feel? That one feels. About the same as the other side, it's a little tender, yeah. We'll work on both then. Alright, let's go on our back. Let's just assess just some of the reflexes to the lower extremity here. So let's start with some core strength here. I'm going to stabilize here and pull the legs back to center. Don't let me. Hold tight. Nice and strong on you, dude. Mm -hmm. I like that. Let's check this one over here. Hold tight for me. Good power. Mm -hmm. I like it. Those are often weak on a lot of people, so you got some strength. Let's hold the leg there. I'm going to push right here. Hold tight for me. I'll let you try that again. <laughs> you can cheat. Nothing on that you can try. <laughs> I can't even. Hold that one for me. And oh, they're both kind of weak. Let's do some of the adductors. Bend the knees in. Bend them in. Squeeze really tight. Don't let me open the legs. Nice and strong. Turn them out this way. Don't let me push them together. Hold tight. See that one? <laughs> Pretty weak, we gotta fix those. Do you some muscle pull on the side? Okay? Uh, a little bit. I really had problems with my pregnancy with this hip. Okay. Usually. Hmm. Legs down. Bring this leg up. Internal rotation, hold there for me. I'm gonna push in. So we'll kind of work on that too. Let's check the feet. Hold the toes towards your head, hold tight for me. I'm gonna push in. Strong. Hold tight. See that one right there? I need that one down. I don't like that one. Okay. All right. I'm going to do a general adjustment first, and then um, as I hold, hold your feet on the white. <laughs> so let's go ahead and just loosen you up, get your body kind of relaxed, then we'll change. I'm going to work on that middle back for you. And then we'll do the lower back. Oh, yeah, here we go. Okay, a little breath now, let's do a drift. Wow, how was that? That was a lot. <laughs> what? Here we go. Wow, you moved really well on that one. All right, let's do the lower back. So lay on your side and face me over here. Up in the good. Then we'll bring this one up here. Now we got two, all three right there. Okay, a little breath. Oh, well, there we go. I feel a lot better already. Oh, wow. <laughs> go to the other side. You know, I get a sense of release and relief <laughs> when, when you guys are like, oh, I feel good. Hey, no one's worked on me. 
It's always a challenge as chiropractors getting good work. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, it's already going. Here we go. That was good. More <laughs> fun. Okay, I'm gonna do a quick check just to see if anything changed. Usually, okay. I have to come back and visit these again. I'll take money. That's much better. Wow, nice. Oh, I like that. Those are open. Nice and strong. We're gonna have to dig on that one a little mm -hmm. bit. Feel that one still Thank going you. down. All right, come up to sitting for me. And what I want to do is get you changed. We can just start unwinding this. Middle back, and then once we get done with all that, we'll adjust it back, and then we'll uh, we'll go to fine tuning the neurology, make sure that you can. What we've got going on here? I know we've got some. Well, I can feel those just uh -huh. right out. Just oh my goodness. We'll work on those a little bit. Definitely more on the left side though. Here, I'm just kind of palpating through, just if you can feel some knots. Put a little pressure here. How's that feeling there? Okay. Not too bad? Yeah. Got a little knot right there. For women breastfeeding too, it's right on the bra line. It just mm. locks up really bad. Actually, I think I'm going to go ahead and fix this one. Take a little breath for me. Put it all the way out. Little baby one in there. Whoa, that's good. Still feels a little one right there. I'm going to sneak up on this one and scare it in. <laughs> Get a little breath. All the way out. I'm going to pull the tissue in here. Let's get some muscle work on this real quick. Start unwinding this for you. I'm gonna apply the rock rub in there. Here we go. If I hit a spot that's really tender, but it gets too tender, just holler at me. I'll back off a little bit. I'm just kind of scrape and just loosen this all up for you. Good. But don't be afraid to holler at me. There's something right there. See, I can feel it catch when I'm sliding on the tissue. Okay. Nice. Is that tender at all here? A little bit. Okay. Just take the time to break this down a little bit for you. Take the time too, as you have your, I think an important point to talk about, is you actually have your kids under regular chiropractic care too. Thank you. Your youngest one is adorable. She <laughs> runs in to get adjusted, it's awesome. She does. She really enjoys it. She's the reason I started coming, actually. It was just that our chiropractor was able to address or address some of the things that our pediatrician didn't seem concerned about. Mm. What kind of things was she struggling with? Um, she was gaining weight fine, but she was having excessive spit up that mm. I just wasn't very comfortable with. Um, but again, the pediatrician said, you know, she's gaining weight, I'm not concerned about it, but um, my mom actually referred us to a chiropractor and it was able to help clear things up. Um, she had a, not super traumatizing birth, but semi-traumatizing birth <laughs> um, that our chiropractor said definitely contributed to misalignments in her spine that were causing her to, to spit up. No, and I think that's a good point. Like, take a time just to learn about some of this stuff. And mm -hmm. the, the pediatrics for chiropractic is big. 
And we tend to think, the medical model tends to think, you know, oh, they're gaining weight, they're going to be fine. But there's a relationship between the structure and how the organs are all innervated from the nerves that are coming through. And I've seen it in my clinic. I've worked on a lot of kids. You do see the spit up. You see the bloating, the gas. And the medical model really, though they've come a long way in terms of science and understanding, when it comes to some of this basic stuff, it, they don't know what to do. Here's a drug. And I have seen it in my own clinic where especially newborns when we adjust the upper cervical and there's tools and techniques we clearly what we do for a child is not the same that we do for an adult there are different techniques for them but uh, working on a child and using the instrumentation and newborns we typically C1, C2 and, and the upper cervical and the lower back you know base of the sacrum L5, L4 that's about it that's all we touch on little kids and that is primarily because the writing reflexes for head coming up and going to writing reflexes for standing aren't active, so there's no need to actually work on the spine. Mm -hmm. We typically, typically in babies, we typically do C1, C2 up top and then the base of the spine. And that actually clears out the bloating, the gassing that kids can have and the spit up. Um, I mean, I can still check the mid back, but I typically never have to adjust a, ch a baby in the middle. It's all over here and it's always down here. And you see it in your own child, how much she was able to change, right? Oh, yeah. 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 So I'm a big fan because of the birthing process to have all kids, little babies check. All of my kids, all three of my sons have been adjusted since they were day one mm. under chiropractic care. And you know what? They're all fine. They're strong. They're healthy. They eat well. They do the nutrition. They have a holistic model. And I hope I've taught them well to live to be 100. <laughs> <laughs> Pain-free, drug-free, and disability-free. I'm going to take this arm. We're going to put it back. But being healthy is not a passive thing. You know that. No. You have to be involved in your health care. And that's what I've always liked about chiropractic is it really engages the patient as being part of their health care. And then it's wellness-centered. So now you're fixing things and looking at things before they become a disease process. Mm. That's super important. You live longer. Mm. So what I'm doing now is I'm just going to scrape along these muscles here. Make sure there's no trigger points hiding out. Especially with you being a mom and got a six month old working with him. You're gonna get a lot of stuff through here. Mm -hmm. I still feel like one's right there. I feel it popping. Mm -hmm. Feel that? I do. There it is. I don't wanna go too hard. Is this pressure okay? Mm hmm Good. Just feathering these muscles here, different angles. And then a little bitty one up here. That's pretty good there. All right, drop this one down. I'm gonna bring this one back around. I wanna make sure. Nice work there, there we go. Does that feel okay? Mm -hmm. What about right? Feel a trigger point in there or anything? Not really. No. Okay. Just, hmm. There we go. There it is. I knew it was in there. I could follow mm -hmm. along. It's a little closer in. There we go. There's the spine right there. And one thing I know about being a chiropractor, it's you're also a part massage therapist, deep <laughs> tissue worker, bone mover, <laughs> nutritionist. I definitely appreciate all Ooh, of I'll tell you what, talking about general practice, I mean, every day I'm learning something new and keep reviewing and keep studying.
Your back's gonna be a little bit red through here too for a bit, okay? Whatever it takes. <laughs> Absolutely. Feels like much better. All right, I'm just gonna finish up down here. Go along the quadratus lumborum muscle, sits on top of the pelvis. Any tenderness here? Not really. Let's go back over here. Feels okay there? Yeah. All right, let's do some, I'm gonna do a little massage work here. Just loosen you up a little bit. I have to get in there and just Does that feel okay? Mm -hmm. Wish I had someone do this for me every day. <laughs> <laughs> He's like a 20 pound six month old. <laughs> gonna be big. Uh -huh. It's good though. But I mean, you already see just doing wellness care with your daughter. She's already just met three or four, just bounced around the table. She already knows what to do. She does. Taking care of herself. I mean, you got her going good. All right. Everything feels pretty balanced now. So what I want to do now, let's just get you changed back and then we're going to go back and fine tune the nervous system. We're going to follow the nervous system, what it wants to fix and what didn't correct in our first adjustment. Okay. Hang on though. I don't like that right there. Feel no, that? it's still bumping. Yeah, another one showed itself. You're not done until you're done. <laughs> hmm. Just do this for another minute here. I'm gonna break that up right there. There we go. Is this shoulder been giving you any problems at all? No. All right. Not that I've noticed. Just anything. It was the other side. I'm just gonna kind of cross friction that. Pull your hair. Sorry about that. <laughs> Having your hair pulled is kind of painful. I'm gonna have to push you. Wake up. Wake up. <laughs> All right. Did I tape you last time. You didn't. Mm -hmm. I didn't. Just wondering if I should do a little posture because you are slouching. Right? When you're feeding the baby, I, you know, you're I, I feel over. like I'm constantly like this. I feel like I should have taped that. And just wake that up a little bit for you. Mm -hmm. hmm. I might come back and do that. <laughs> it's one of those moments. Let's just check the neurology. So here we go. We've adjusted everything. Now I'm going to go back. I'm going to fine tune. See what still needs our attention. So hold tight for me. See that one? That still needs our attention. Even after an adjustment, it's not done. Hold tight. And that's where I think a lot of chiropractors need to slow down. So okay, well, I'm not going to poke fingers. <laughs> just, <laughs> we've got to search. We've got to fix. Hold tight for me. Push up as hard as you can. Now see that one? That's firing pretty good. Push, hold tight. That's firing pretty good. Let's go back to biceps. Hold tight. That's firing. Hold tight. That's firing. But this one, hold tight. I'm not even trying. It's, it's not, not even doing anything. Not so we're going to fix that one. We're going to dig on that. Let's go ahead and do the grip strength. Squeeze as tight as you can. That's firing. Hold tight for me. That's firing better than what it was. Oh, I think it's two fingers. I'm going to go climb to the whole thing. Strong as you can. 
Don't let me. That's got some power in it. I can feel it engaging. That's got some power. Over here. Now, I'm just gonna, is that tender at all? A little bit. Yeah, we're not done. All right, let's go on our back. Let's clear that one out. Have you been to how many different chiropractors? Uh, just two. Okay. Well, three, sorry. Three? <laughs> What's the differences between? Are they all different? Are we all different? Yes. Our first chiropractor used a lot of drop tables, but you have a whole lot more tools than he had. Yeah, I use a lot of equipment on top of traction adjustments. I have a lot of patients never seen the traction adjustments other than mm -hmm. YouTube channels. You know, they see them, but and you've never been track. You've never been in traction before since you came here, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, that was my first time. Take a deep breath. Put it all the way out. So we're trying to release this C5. That moved. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I it come up. Good posture here. Let's bring that one up. Hold tight. Here we go. That's nice and strong. I like that. Okay, so that definitely improved. Um, make sure we didn't create problems. Hold tight for me. Nice and strong. And push as hard as you can. Nice and strong. Do that one more time. Now look down towards the floor. I also like to pull on the cord a little bit. Hold tight. And it's staying. So I like that too. Perfect. Let's go back. I'm gonna have you walk around for a second. Just go to gravity. And then what I'm gonna do while you're sitting, I'm gonna check the lower extremity. So you put some compression on the back when you sit. Let's take a look and see if there's anything here. So bring the knees up, just a classic test, hold tight. Pretty good, just do the engaging. See, I don't like that one. Mm -mm. I'm not even trying. Go on your back. That was... And they can change when you start making deeper corrections up and down the spine. The reflexes will shut on and on. See, it's still a little weak right yeah. there. Once we challenge, once we clear out the neck more, it freed up some stuff down here. We'll do some kinesium, kinesiology testing. Hold tight for me. So here's L1, here's L2, here's L3. <laughs> <laughs> Strong on the right, weak on the left, which corresponds to the nerve test. So what we're going to do is I'm going to have you block right here for me. I'm going to pull that one out and do a different technique. So let that relax. Let me have a leg. Deep breath in. All the way out. <laughs> that moved. Let's double check. Hold tight. Is that stronger? Yeah. Now let's check this one. Hold tight. Better. I like it. Hold tight. Better. Let's just see if it stays when you stand. That's it. It's one thing you have strong when you go ahead and walk for a second and then go ahead and sit back down. I want to see if it stays when you're sitting. So let's bring that leg back up. Hold tight. Much improved. All right, let's do the feet. So go ahead and lay on your back for me. Since you're out hiking, I want to make sure that these are actually moving a little bit better. Take a little breath for me. Oh, here we go. Oh, yeah. Feel that one? That's a good one. Yeah. That's a good one. Let's do the feet. I always spray the feet off before I grab all of them. Here we go. You're moving good. Nice. All right, come on up for me. Let's check the fingers real quick. See these hands here. Okay, there it is. The rest feels pretty good in there. There it is. Let's see this one. These fingers are quiet over here. They are. <laughs> Oh. Now I'm going to pull out. <laughs> Not bad. Everything else feel okay? Yeah, did you want to check my knee at all? Oh, let me do some work. I know you did the hip. Uh, go on your back from real quick. Okay. I actually want to do some work. Thanks for reminding me. You're welcome. working. Hold tight for me. See, I'm strong now. Mm -hmm. I'm going to isolate the knee a little bit here. I'm just going to just very gently traction out that knee. Okay. It's a little bit different hold. I'm going to just add a little resistance here. 
sometimes when I'm not doing when I get the knee, I'll block above and adjust. Mm -hmm. Then I'll, when I want the knee, I have to grab hold of here. It's moving already. Mm -hmm. Yep, it moves. You don't have to go hard, just a dental and it resets it. All right, let me see some AK testing. Hold on, from here. I'm just gonna touch it, put some pressure into it. Strong, strong. It moved. Time to go play. Awesome. All right, come on up. Good deal. Anything else? Yeah. Yeah. So you ready to get adjusted? Come on. I'll hop in here. Hop on the table. You know. <laughs> We just worked on your mama. Hop up here for me. Perfect. Are you ready? I love the way she does this. Good job, little one. There we go. And hold is Cassidy. She is three. Three. Yeah, three and a half. Cassidy loves to be adjusted. Take a little breath for me. There we go. We're gonna go nice and easy on her. There we go. There it went. There we go. Perfect. I'm gonna do a little muscle work here on this. Just a fine tune it. Thank you. And Cassie's been adjusted since she was a little baby, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. She was four months old, I think. So pretty consistently since she was four months old. How we doing? <laughs> This is what all kids do, they bounce in half. You wanna flip over for me? Yeah, okay. So flip over and switch up. Good job. Pull yourself up. You wanna come up here a little higher for me? There you go, good job. Here we go, let's wiggle these in for me. Here we go. Nice and easy. Perfect. Yay. <laughs> You're ready. Let's do the next one. Nice and easy. There it is. <laughs> All done. What Go. do you say? Thank you. You're welcome. All right, there's mom over there. I definitely highly recommend uh, Advanced Family Chiropractic and just all the details that they go into in your care. Mm -hmm.